Welcome back to the series. Now, you can see my car isn't in the best of shape, so we're going to start off this episode with fixing my car. I believe it's going to be about $600, $700 worth of fixing. Not too bad. Spawning in this car, I did realize this is the only car I have. And that's actually kind of good because I haven't gone out and bought a ton of supercars or I don't think I could afford any with this money, but I haven't gone out spending too much on cars, which I think is a good thing. Uh, we managed to save up and we're just under 80,000. Now in the recent update, the developers added the construction zone or they updated it. So it's now a job and you can actually earn money from it. So today we're going to put it to the test. How much money can we earn from the construction zone? Now, unfortunately, if we go over here, you can see I only have 75 job points so you need a hundred job points to be allowed onto this job so I think to start off with we'll go to the male job I say this one's probably the best to get XP on I'm not sure how statistically true that is but we'll give it a shot and we only need 25 XP more so it's nothing too crazy meanwhile we have a bit of a uh, confusion up here with law enforcement Anyways, let's head inside, get geared up, and deliver some post. Just realized as well, I've got mail, but I do not want to buy the job vehicle, which as you can see here is 18,000 or 65,000. So I think I can just use my own car, right? Yeah, all right, we'll just use my own car. I've collected mail from here. Done. Hold on, we've got to pick this up. Oh, I can't put this in my truck. Oh, I don't have a truck, do I? And I can't put that in the back. That's a slight problem. I don't know why this is highlighted though. I'm not sure why there's a marker above that. $871. Did that give us job points as well? 90. All right, 10 to go, 10 to go. We've delivered all of the packages. Do we get an XP boost from that? Five XP. We're so close, so close. They want me to drive all the way up to High Rock Park and deliver it right to the top. Now this job would probably be more effective if I did buy the mail van because then I could actually collect Post, which is half of the markers around the map, but I only need five more XP, so I don't think it's worth spending 16,000 on that. Oh, next paycheck has come in. Will that be over? Yes, 110 XP. Lovely. Right, I'm now going to hand in my uniform and head down to the construction zone. Here we go, arriving at our new job at midnight, as you do. One thing I did notice was there was a tank here. I'm not sure if you can actually fill up uh, job vehicles from it. If you can, that's kind of cool. I think we look better in the high vis. Yeah, that definitely looks a lot better. Now, one thing I really did not consider was the price for all these vehicles. 65,000 for each vehicle. That's a lot of money to spend on job vehicles. So I realized I definitely cannot do this by myself. So. I brought along a couple people to help me, and together hopefully we can, well, speed up the process a bit. Problem is, I cannot afford more than one of these vehicles, and if I do buy one of these vehicles, then <laughs> I'm not going to have much money left. We will give moral support. Normal day at the construction zone, as you can see, health and safety is no issue here. It also does worry me that we've got what looks to be some federal law enforcement agency just sitting here. If I took off my hair and ragdolled properly, you would probably not be able to see me. So definitely a great hiding spot if you want to hide from the police. Not that I need to, of course. No, no, no. We've actually got a pretty good operation going on here, considering this is a public server. You can see down here just how many people are on the job. Seems like Ollie is getting another ride on the forklift. No worries about safety whatsoever. This is the one thing we can do. We can construct parts. And we do get five job points for that, so I guess with some help of sorts. Oh, okay. Perfect. So that's the concrete down. We still got tractors going over here. So I, I guess they're laying down the concrete, making sure it's all flat. Again, the law enforcement presence continues. Why have we got so many law enforcement here? Oh, have they got the forklift stuck in here? Yeah, they've got the forklift stuck in here, haven't they? Uh-oh. Yeah, some desync. Yep, some desync going on here. I'm not surprised, like, this is the busiest public server full of construction workers I've seen yet. And because we're on the job and I, I guess sort of helping out, we do get some free money and XP. I haven't actually used this uh, scaffolding before, but it's kind of cool actually. Yeah, yeah kind of cool. And it works really well. Okay, we've just got someone hanging down from the crane. Is that a cobblestone? Yeah, I think so. So that's a cobblestone outer and inner walls going up. Oh my gosh. Look at this, there's a literal queue going on here. 
What has this turned into? And they just ran over someone. You cannot tell me this is a calm construction site. I think it's probably best we block this off from the public, making sure no one enters. The sun is setting. We're going to put up a couple of lights here. I do wonder, do those lights actually work? They do. How effective are they, though? Because that's my light. So I'm not sure how effective those actually are. If I'm not mistaken, though, I think we have finished. We've got the walls up. We've got people dancing with their jackhammers. Look at this beautiful construction work. No interior, but that's not really our job. We just build things. Thank you for today's work. We <laughs> I guess it's a horse stable. Could be called a horse stable, maybe. I'd say we built that very far, so uh, light work. Very impressive. Very impressive, everyone. It's actually pretty funny that this is all entirely in a public server. Um, but yeah, so thank you to all of our builders here for making this possible. And some people who are not even in my recording team and just decided to tag along. Okay, pretty much everyone thinks they deserve a bonus. So maybe maybe we just uh, try and get some more funding. Okay, well, good job. Let's go ahead and tour what we have built here. And I, I guess see what see what we've done. See what we have managed to do today. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of lights, by the way, guys. It's We've illuminated this place like the sun. All right, let's uh, go ahead and head inside here. Follow, follow me, everyone. Follow me. So this is, I guess, the lounge. What have we got down here? This is like an office area. The basement's locked. No one's going down there. No one's going down there. We can add assets. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's build something inside of here. All right. I don't know who, but someone locked this door and didn't give us a key. So that's great. We go out the... Oh, wow. Wait, what? This place is so much bigger than I thought. Out the front we go. If we head by here, we can use the scaffolding and get onto the roof. For some reason, someone didn't attach the hinges to that door properly. So it's not going to open. This is my favorite part. Sliding off the roof, as you can see. I don't know why the fire department's here, but good job, people. I will see you later. So, we've changed over to the fire department team, and we can get some easy XP and money just by responding to the build that we built and extinguishing the fire. Also, it is very hazy today, or is that just fog? Because I can barely see the bridge even. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Dodge, where are you going? There is FD over there, so in case they already have put that out, we're going to extinguish the car fire here, which is 20 XP. You can uh, push that away if you'd like with your incredibly strong bucket loader. There's an FD charger on the scene, so I'm not sure if they've tackled all of the fires. We'll get an SCBA mask on and head inside. There isn't actually that many fires on the structure. So I don't believe there are actually any left, unfortunately. If that firefighter wasn't here, then that would have been some easy XP, but it just doesn't look like there are any fires left at least. However, someone did tag this building. That extra police we did have on scene didn't really do much. And there it goes. Well, I do have to say the floating dollar sign is kind of hilarious. Oh, and look at that. Pretty big fire. Luckily for us, we've got an extinguisher or a hydrant, sorry, right here. We've got ourselves an attack line. Let's attack this fire. 250 feet should be able to reach. Yeah, yeah, we should be able to reach right around the other side of the building. Usually there's a specific point which you hit and then that will slowly decrease the fire. But where, how, how did they manage to get it out? And I didn't. Fire's still burning. So I'm guessing there is still some sort of fire inside. Ah, oh, okay. You can see the fires on the roof over there. Uh, but I'm going to need to disconnect these because... We need to move my vehicle to allow the ladder to come through. All right, we're heading up onto the building. Let's go. It is so dark up here. This could honestly be from a horror movie. Like, I cannot see off the edge of the building unless I look that way. But yeah, apart from this, it just looks like the void, really, around this building. Finally, we got it. 45 XP. Good job. Good job, FD. And they've left me stranded on this building. Well, thank you all for checking out today's video. I do hope you enjoyed a bit of construction as well as some part-time firefighting. The next part of this video will most likely come out during or after police week, which would hopefully mean maybe some new robberies or police mechanics that we can check out. Have a great day and subscribe for more.